Right, so this is me. My name is Catherine, and um, this is me with no makeup, but I do have mascara. Um, I've just put in this hair growth serum. Let's see if it works. So I'm sitting here this morning trying to decide what I need to say. So, what do I need to say? A lot. What shouldn't I say? A lot. But what I can say is this. I have been in many situations, and some women have been in far more situations than what I've been. And the one thing I can say is this. If you feel like you're not protected, if you feel that you are in danger, if you feel that you are not loved, if you feel that you're alone, if you feel that everything about you is just not good enough, well then, that's who you are. But if you feel that you're a woman worthy of being treated in loyalty, in royalty, and you have the right to be who you are, then you need to stand up. You need to get your backside inside a gym and you need to do a workout, not to lose weight, not to impress other people, not to become somebody that you don't want to be, but you need to do it for yourself, for your own securities, and to keep that smile on your face wider and brighter than it's ever been. So, yes, this country is a bit of a mess. Yes, it has problems, it has issues. Um, but then again, no matter where you go, there's going to be problems, there's going to be issues, some of it a little bit less, some of it a little bit more. But at the end of the day, it's up to us to decide how to fix it. And it starts with you. It doesn't start with the government. It doesn't start with the person on the street. It doesn't start with anybody else but you. You have to do it. So, the best thing I can say is sign up for a self-defense course. Learn how to protect yourself. Learn how to stand for yourself. I come from an industry where I was literally surrounded by men every single day. I'm a married woman and I was threatened literally every single day. So the threaten that I'm talking about is not my life. It's not um, rape. It's not um, the threats that I had was not being me. It was me judging me by the people around me about the men who felt that I wasn't good enough to be in that position. And it got to a point where I started to believe them. So I dropped out of being amongst men and decided to focus on what it is that I loved. Stuff that made me feel like this is me. This is who I am. And I don't need a man. And I don't need other people around me. And I don't need social media. I don't need Instagram. I don't need Facebook to tell me who I am. So I'm going to tell you this. You want to feel better about yourself? Get up off your ass. Go out there and make something of yourself. Become who you are. You want to strengthen who you are? Strengthen your weakness. And that's your insecurity. Go out to a gym, sign up, feel what it's like to punch a bag, feel what it's like to get rid of that frustration. If you have to do it every morning and every night because that makes you feel good, then go to that bag and punch it. But get rid of your anger inside of you. Start bringing love into your heart. Most of all, most of all, and don't forget this, you bring God into your heart. Because let me tell you something, I have had it rough. I have had it to a point where I've had to stand strong 
every single day of my life to show people it doesn't matter. It's okay. Put a smile on my face and I go ahead. It's hard. Because why? Because women are strong. Oh, baby, we're strong. We have hearts of gold. No matter how much of a bitch face we put on. No matter how much we push people away. Because we're not being better. We're being cautious. And that is scary. That we as women have to be cautious of people around us. Because they taint us. And they hurt us. So if it wasn't for the man that I am married to. For this king that I am married to. I think I would have fallen a long time ago. I think I would have made choices that weren't right. But one thing I can tell you, and I can tell you this because I've lived it, I've been there, I've done it. Find a man that cherishes you. Find a man that loves you. All your insecurities, all your imperfections, everything. Find a man who does that and your love will be strong. But before you can do that, you have to love yourself. You have to get rid of your insecurities because you would destroy that man that's walked into your life to love you. Pray every day. Pray when you get into the car. Pray when something good happens. Pray when something bad happens. But pray. God is amazing. And if you don't understand him, try to. Try to understand and look back. Check your footprints. See what's happened in your life. And have a look and see what God has actually done for you. Was it him or was it your choices? Let me tell you something. It wasn't anything else but God. And God can only do good. If anything bad happened, there was a choice you made. Not God. You so make a choice. Make a choice and stand up for yourself. Be strong. You're a woman. A woman of power. A woman of royalty. If you are a child of God, you are royalty. Treat yourself as such. And I'm not talking about lavishing yourself in pearls and going shopping until it's dropping. I am talking about who you are inside. Become who you are inside. Stop your negativity. Stop your insecurities. Become Become a woman that you love. That's from the heart. Maybe it makes sense. Maybe it's absolute rubbish. But that's from the heart. To all the women out there struggling, to all the women out there that are lonely, don't be. Don't be lonely. I know what it's like. Put on some music. Go crazy in your house. Dance. Be my sugar if you want to be my sugar. Just have fun. Do what you need to. So, that's it. That's me with the Instagram regrowth thing that I'm busy with. Let's see if this Instagram thing works. And why am I doing it? Because I can. Have fun. And remember, love yourself.